Hey Scrubs, uh, me and Evan here today, and Evan's going to be playing a little game called Evil Knievel. Evil Knievel. Yeah, I have no idea what studio it's by. I'm sure I could probably look it up and I'll put it in the description or something silly or stupid like that. Um, we'll go ahead and turn the audio up so you guys can actually hear what's going on. Look at that big old jump. So, uh, this game is basically a big, like, trials ripoff, like a cartoony trials ripoff, and it's a pretty cool time waster. Um, I've already unlocked all the bikes that you can unlock, um, with, without paying. And the only paid thing that you, that you actually need, and you don't even need it, is the very last bike, and I think it's like ten dollars, if you wanted wow. to <laughs> It did not like me trying to find out how much that bike was. No, it was like, oh no, he's gonna expose us. <laughs> he's gonna expose us for our dirty play-to-win tactics, which, it's not play-to-win, I beat the whole game, and it... I didn't pay any money for it, so. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. <laughs> she does. Yeah. All right, you can skip that intro, and I just go go to just hit next, I guess. All right, so this bike. Oh. Let's see how much it wants for it. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. We don't need that bike. <laughs> it doesn't want that bike. I think it was like it either happened. five or ten or seven dollars. It's one of those numbers, and it's probably not worth it. I can't imagine it would make your playthroughs any better. Um, the way the game works is you uh, you level up by completing like stunts uh, by doing like like one of the stunts will be like do two kick flips or do do seven seconds of wheelies at a time or whatever, and then you'll unlock points. And those points uh, lead to uh, your level, and right now I'm at like level 17, and uh, you you have like a skill tree that upgrades how good you are at taking falls and uh, how much charisma you have and your luck. My character's name is Lucky Ted. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, start playing the first day. If, I'm uh, so excited. Yeah, and it's uh, evil, evil it's, it's the hypest gameplay. It's pretty. This doesn't look like the first day. Did you click on the first level the first day? I think so. I don't, I don't know. This looks pretty advanced. <laughs> I don't know. The first one's like literally just like one jump and a flaming hoop. That's all right, dude. I'm a trials master. That's oh, okay. Look at this. That's okay. Do that flip for style. That landed it. Landed it. Uh, Didn't land that. And you can see that Evan um, has mastered the game so far. Mm -hmm. All right. So I guess the, my, my bad. There are different events that have like three day, three different days in them. Multiple events with three levels in each one. Then. Yeah, basically. And um, it won't show it here because I've already unlocked all the bikes. But every time you get to the third day of a new like event, uh, you're going to need to upgrade your bike with uh, points that you earn by grabbing gold, or not it just with gold, little biker helmets. Super strange. And I think you're on like the most advanced bike that I have. So, you're gonna jump like super hard. And you're gonna speed up super fast. Yeah, I'm noticing that. Oh, straighten it out. There we go. Uh, also, like, a weird thing about this game is that, like, if you miss the second part of the ramp, like I think you might do here, you just automatically crash. Yeah. You have to be going slow enough so that you actually hit the. Uh, so that you actually hit the, uh, like, the second half of the ramp. It doesn't matter where you hit it. You can hit it at the beginning of the of the ramp or the end of the ramp. But you have to hit it otherwise. But you have crash. to hit both sides. Crash. So this is the this is the first level. Ellie, get down. Our dogs are being bad. I don't know if you can hear their their pathetic whimpers of let us out of the kitchen, but they're just gonna click clack all over the place and make it impossible for us to record. So understand. I'd like to remind everyone that this is the first day of the first level, and Evan is unable so far to. It's because uh, I'm using this special bike, it. dude. I bet if I went back to the original bike, bike. the 250 Scrambler. Yeah. Blaming it on the bike. Yep. No, it was the controls. <laughs> yes, they're so. Advanced. I only, I only, I only play PC games. I, ca I can't play a, this console. Yeah, see, look at this thing, man. It's Bullshit. Slow. Oh. And my handling is upgraded almost all the way, <laughs> so you can't really blame it on the fact that hey, that it's well, not there's like. A will, there's a way. Yeah. Ah. 
<laughs> so you'll notice that whenever you're in the air, the front and back arrows, like your gas and your brake, turn into uh, spin logos. So like the little arrows, like the back one will push your back end up, and like the right one will put push your front end up. So when okay. you're in midair, like you need to, it becomes like inverted almost, just like a little bit. Okay, so I was hitting back that time, and I just like started a backflip. And my, uh, you know, it's clear that phone games and tablet games are not my thing. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get you on Gears of War, and we'll embarrass you there, too. Oh, no, man. No, you don't think? I'm a console pro. If I've learned anything about the internet, it's that they don't care about Gears of War. I'm sure they all love to buy it, but they don't want to watch it. They don't want to watch sick gameplay of it. Of course, to be fair, nobody wants to watch any of our... Oh, so they're giving you tutorials because you're on the first bike, I guess? I'm gonna I'm gonna beat your dog, man. <laughs> and you, oh. you missed it. Yeah, because you broke dude, his I dick in three it. different places. Yeah. All right, we got it this time. I'm feeling good. All right, whatever you whatever you say, uh, Rorschach. I'm feeling good. I got these controls. Oh, uh, were you gunning it? I feel like <laughs> I feel like you're dead because oh, you fell into man. a big cardboard box full of snakes. <laughs> Gun it. Ah, you passed the first level. There we go. Would you like to contrast that with the very last level in the game? I'd rather. Or would you like to go to a middle, like a middle level? I'd like to make sure that uh, I can get through level two. Okay, all right. And then we'll go. I'll, right. I'll start jumping difficulties here. Mountain lions. Oh, shit. Yep. Mountain oh. lions in, uh, in cardboard box. Or I think they were like uh, wooden panel boxes. Like shipping crates. Real humane. Uh, they, oh, they had the two it. flaming hoops there. And then the uh, dumpster fires, which uh, are basically any telltale game nowadays. Mm -hmm. Dumpster fire. Yeah, giant dumpster fires. Oh, here we go. We got I don't think this. you're going to make it. Oh! Yeah, dude, I got this now. Proved wrong again. I just screwed up a couple times. Yeah. But now, now well, we're... it's hard whenever you get all the toys at once. You're just like, I don't know how to do this. You need to select your 250 Deluxe. Yep, you got to gotta get that next uh, bike up in there. For the final day. The final day. Let's see what sick... It... Evil Knievel's had a long day. Let's see what sick crates filled with snakes <laughs> and uh, panthers... Oh shit! Oh, both. Yeah, so that's nasty. It's pretty hardcore. <laughs> They're just sitting in crates. That's awesome. It's like no big deal. My favorite Fuck thing. Fuck these mountain lions! They can sit in these <laughs> crates. <laughs> My favorite thing about one of the Indiana Jones. Uh, I think it was the third Indiana Jones movie, right? Where it shows like his uh, his like origin story, basically. Yeah, that was the third one because that's one of Sean Connery. Thing. Uh, it shows, like, just this little kid running on top of this train with, like, giraffes and lions and, like, all the stuff and falling in here. I thought that was great. It was, it was amazing filmmaking. Of course, I was, like, I was, like, that kid's age whenever I first watched it, so I was probably like, Ah, oh, I could grow up to be Indiana Jones and not some lame guy on YouTube. Um, man, that's like one of the life dreams to be Indiana Jones. Yeah, be the world's worst archaeologist yeah. and the world's okayest professor. I definitely would choose him, him over being Nicolas Cage from National Treasure. Oh God. I I respected the attempt. Uh, the first one was good. The first one was good. Uh, the second one, I mean, it's all like the National Treasure movies are basically YouTube conspiracy videos. Um, but with, like, a, a billion dollar budget, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Um, and, like, Nicolas Cage. I didn't that Da Vinci Code stuff, man. I heard did you see the new Da Vinci Code movie? Hell, I don't think anybody did. I gave up after the first one. I didn't think the first I, Like, so I'm not you... interested in that kind of stuff. Like, I didn't read the book. I had no interest in reading the book. Like, Well, we were, like, five when the book came Tom out, And it was Tom Hanks, right? man. Well, I mean, even... Well, Tom Hanks is in good movies. Yeah, but, but... like, Tom Hanks is, like, that's such a weird role because, like... Tom Hanks is the ultimate example of, like, the old person actor, you know, like, well, he, pretty he, much... Well, he used to not be. Every movie he makes is, like, designed for Speed. old people or, or heavy adults, and, like, I don't know, maybe, you know, this well, is Steven, probably... Well, him and Steven Spielberg, oh, you know? Oh. He's probably gonna make me sound like a total dick, but, like, most of what he's doing these days, like, I'm not interested in, like... Did you not I like consider, Captain Phillips? 
No, like I haven't I, seen Sully, you know, but I'll, like, I'll watch Sully. And Sully and, and all those things, like those are really awesome stories and heroic stories. But like, I don't give a fuck to watch a two and a half hour movie about them. So, what would you say the difference is between? I did watch Captain Phillips though, and that was okay. But it's like this dude, like again, I'm gonna sound like a total dick here. I'm not taking away from what the guy did, but it's like, why the fuck would I want to watch a two to two and a half hour movie of Sully, man? Like, I don't need to see that. Like. Make a forty-five minute little TV special. It's because with we can't. It's because airplane. we can't make any more World War Two movies, Evan. They're just done. Well, it's, it's just there's so many of these like based on a true story movies that like I you know it's like I'm not talking down on. I'm not sitting here saying oh he's not a hero like whatever. It's like you I'll just go don't see. Care enough to I'll watch go a movie see the it. yeah. I'll go see the Caitlyn Jenner movie because like oh, she God. she is a national treasure and, and hero. It should to be the respected, level. and she's really fucking, smart and funny. Fucking had a sex change, and that makes her like a, a god to Americans. It's like man, so courageous. It's like go say that to the people that are actually having sex changes out there in the world and who aren't getting and beat up, getting beat up in the street, and like. Judged and treated like crap and bullied, like go call them. They're the ones who deserve to be called courageous, not you know a Kardashian. I mean, much. yeah, I don't know. I guess, but he was in the know, Olympics, so famous. Yeah, but forever. nobody's given a shit about him forever until that Kardashian show came around. And once that show goes off air and people lose their interest in the Kardashians, they'll go back to not giving a shit about him. So it's like, yeah. I don't know. This is, getting, this is getting really controversial for uh, a video about uh, evil people. Any, anybody game. that was watching this was like, they tuned out. You're They're gonna gone. Talk down on Caitlyn Jenner. They're all gone. You you lost all two of our viewers, Evan. First year. <laughs> you, you're like Ethan's mom just tuned out because you started talking about Caitlyn Jenner. Like, first you don't. First, you don't see the need for a two-hour self movie, and now <laughs> you're talking down on Caitlyn oh, Jenner. Okay, well here's the deal. Did you like Apollo 13? It was alright, but again, that was another, like... Okay, well, uh, I mean, Apollo 13 and, like, all these, like, Sully and Captain Phillips are basically the same thing, except people don't care about space anymore, I guess. Yeah. So I like, I like Tom Phillips, man. Tom Phillips, like, I enjoy him, and I like quite a bit of his movies, um, and he's very funny. The Lady Killers is still one of my favorite movies ever, and yeah. he was in that. It's just kind of like, all this based on true story stuff. I mean, I don't know. I guess my mood for movies is changing, because, like, I don't know. Hmm. Like, um, I see something like Money Monster, and that was like an adult movie. Yeah. It's like, hey, I like that, but I'm sorry, like I just, you know, give me. I'm gonna 40, kill your dog, Evan. Give me, <laughs> like, <laughs> give me a one hour like special on Sullivan, and like do yeah. reenactments, and like we're all good. But Evan, um, Jesus, I know this jump is crushing, it's killing me. you. It's my dog. Your my balls heart are out is on so stream, broken. Evan. My dog, my heart is so broken for my dog over there. Yeah, you just can't handle it. I can't it. handle evil can evil right Man, now. we're gonna sound really stupid if your dog like isn't picked up on the mic, like whining and clacking all over the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe that's for the better. I don't want people. I don't want people showing up at my door claiming animal abuse or something. My kitchen is uh, huge. There's this YouTube it's... video where this dog is just like crying and clacking all over the place. I don't know what they were doing to this dog. Just. Okay, I'm about to give up on this level, though. Okay, d I'm telling you, man, just go to the middle. Like, where, the, where there's no way we're going to show up all the levels, no one's going to watch that. Yeah. No one's going to listen to us talk about movies in a, in a game about a... In a game about a... Evil going Knievel. back to Evil Knievel, though, I wish there were like, still some people out here like this that did stunt stuff like this. Uh, I would imagine it they don't do it because the insurance probably doesn't cover it anymore. I'd say the closest thing that you're going to get is like a monster truck rally, right? Well, it gets close. I mean, like, every couple months or something. I don't know if it's every couple months, but like... NBC will do like a Saturday night special where like uh, landed it. Uh, they'll do like a, of a guy like walking on a type or tight rope between buildings and. Are you excited that Dave Chappelle is back for Saturday Night Live? You think he's going to do anything else? That was last week. Yeah, well, it was last week, but I'm excited that he was back last week. I don't think that's going to lead to him being in anything anymore. Uh, he has. I mean, he, if he wants to, he will. He doesn't yeah. seem to want to really do any of that. But he, he did do Saturday Night Live, so maybe that's fine. He was in Springfield, like, a couple months ago. Oh, yeah? Sold out so fast, I wasn't able to get tickets. Oh, okay. Fun. Well, good for him, you know. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about him. I just know that he was really funny on that show that he had that was named after him. Yeah, he just got tired. Oh, of I thought you were going to pull it out. That was a husband right there. All right, so let's let's kind of wrap it up, because, like, there's not a whole lot. Like, as it is, it's probably going to be a 20-minute video about an app, so... Tough, yeah. So let's uh, let's skip the last day um, with the with the most with the biggest bike, and uh, while you try and complete that, we'll talk about. I don't know. Are you excited for Rogue One? You want to make fun of Rogue One and destroy me, make me cry? 
Uh, Do you know, it. I don't tell me it's going to be horrible. I don't think it. I mean, I don't think it looks bad, but I mean, it looks like a Star Wars movie. It's yeah. Shit. I mean, it's like nothing. Doesn't seem like anything special. Like it's going to look a little different. Yeah. But it's the same old Star Wars. What it's if like I was the exact to say, same story? As what if I was Star to Wars. say that the look that they were going for was uh, was Saving Private Ryan, but with Star Wars? I would say that is insane. <laughs> I think it looks good. I'm not trying to say that I don't want to see it or I think it's going to be a bad movie. It's yeah. just like... I'll tell you right exactly, now, you're going to have to start over because what if you miss that helicopter, it's going to... It's exactly what I expected it would be, which is it looks like a fairly standard Star Wars movie. Hmm. You know, that, oh, the Republic, they're doing something bad and we can't beat them. But, but Evan, this, a rebellion built on this, hope. We're going to get this ragtag group of people together that and, shouldn't stand a chance and we're going to take it to them and... And we're going to stand a chance and win. I mean, that's Star and Wars. And someday, dude. some punk ass moisture farmer is going to blow the fuck out of this. That's Star Wars. Giant, like, you, can cha- giant. you can change the characters, you can change their reasoning, but it's still the same Star Wars movie. Yeah. And there will be a lightsaber at some point. No. One of them is obvious. Yeah, dude. No, there won't be a the lightsaber. Trailer, it says one of them's a Jedi. If oh, I remember it right. No. Yes, one of them, the Chinese guy or whatever. No, he's not guy. a Jedi. He's just like one of those people he's who's a Jedi. like. Who's like Force. Somebody's like, a Jedi in that movie. I no, remember seeing, don't say that. Yeah, well, Darth Vader. I remember right? seeing like, somebody as a Jedi. Now, whether they uh, use that, I, I don't know. But well, I don't think he says. Bad. I hope it. I the hope only it thing he bad. says though is like the Force guides me or whatever because he's a blind dude who's got nothing else but like a stupid religion. The Force guides him exactly. But you, what do we know about people with the? You don't have to be force. force. Sen- you don't have to be force sensitive to believe in the Force and the fact that the Force guides everything. But how many characters have we seen in Star Wars that believe in the Force that end up having <laughs> the Force? And why is that? They were like this at the. They were at the seat of power like twenty years ago. Nobody remembers these weird space wizards that rule the galaxy with an iron fist. It'll be all right. And just like I hope people are going into it. You know, like Darth Vader's going to show up during a fight. It's going to look like he's about to get beat, and then he'll get away. Like that's. I feel like fairly. So obvious. you're saying that Darth Vader's Tie Fighter will get hit by another Tie and like war- swerve off, and he'll just like regroup later. I don't know. I mean, he's obviously <laughs> not going to die or lose. I mean, what a punk way to go out, right? I just on one good note though that had me kind of excited is that for a movie that I have no interest in seeing at all, which is a Han Solo standalone. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I don't really Donald know. Glover is going to be Lando Carrasian. Cor- 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 Lando, Lando. I'm just going to say Sound it out. Sound it out. I can't talk tonight. But uh, he's going to be Lando, which isn't bad. And then I, they just casted the chick from Game of Thrones that's uh, going to play uh, Daenerys. Oh, I no. I, Who does she play? They, they, they didn't say. They just said that she's Jordan the cast. Her oh, character she was horrible in everything I've ever seen her in that wasn't Game of Thrones. Well, yeah, exactly. That's what I said to somebody, and they got all mad. I was like, well, she's a good actress when she's taking her clothes off. Name one thing that she's good <laughs> in. <laughs> when she's taking her clothes off. Like, That's it. She's not a good actress. Like, she's dude. good in Game of Thrones because she just plays, like... She just stands there with She a, plays white chick that's noble. She like, just stands there and says things that the crowd. The they tried to make her Sarah say. Connor and she ruined it. That's it. She stands She's there. She's not a strong female figure in that movie. She was yeah. just like, oh, I got raised by this robot and that's what we're going with. Yeah, she In Game of Thrones, she stands Pops. there and says good guy stuff. The reason Sarah Connor was a strong figure is because she had to be a waitress and do all these shit jobs and see literally everyone she ever loved as an adult blown away in front of her and then told that her kid was supposed to be like the leader of the resistance. Oh. She doesn't become str- Oh, that's... Ooh, that's... <laughs> oh, man. Lit on fire. <laughs> falling into the propeller. And falling into the propeller. All right, well, I think that's enough. I don't think... I mean, not that I don't have faith in you, but I think you should give it one more run and then I think we should call this video a day. There's my one more run. Okay, all right, guys. Well, that is the Evil Knievel game that you can find on the iOS store. I have no idea if it's on Android or whatever. It's really fun. I probably sunk in, like, 24 hours, 24 plus hours into the game, uh, and I beat the whole thing. Or almost the whole thing. That's legs legs broken right there. Yeah, oof. Um, And uh, and I, I would say it's a pretty good time waster. Um, if, like, you, you're on, like, the metro or, like, a bus or something, riding a bike, driving your car. Uh, see you, Scrubs, later.